going guys happy monday happy memorial day i'm actually working today so i'm at the salon i had to leave the house so early i had to be here at 7 a.m so i had to leave the house at 5 which is really early and I don't regret it now, but I definitely regretted it upon waking and last night when I had to go to bed. But um, it's been a good weekend. <clears throat> I have been struggling with um, eating this past weekend. I've been in my deficit. I think it's been like 12 weeks. This is week 13. So I'm going into um, a diet break because you're not supposed to be in a deficit for too long. And my body is starting to feel it, which is why I'm getting like really snacky and just really hungry and things like that. So I'm just going to take a diet break and see what happens. Um, but my body just needs the break from the deficit. And that's important to do because really our bodies need to be fueled. So it's not healthy to be restricted your uh, calorie restricted for more than 12 to 16 weeks but uh, my body is responding um at a point where i'm just like i just need food so um that's how you know it's time to quit the deficit so i'm gonna get back into a muscle building phase for a little while get my body um back up to I don't know if I'll go all the way back up to maintenance. I'm going to go back into a deficit at some point. But I think for now, I'm just going to focus on um, just building muscle for a little while. Because I'm not unhappy with where I'm at. I still have some weight to lose. But um, I'm at a good point at least to <clears throat> maintain, um, build muscle, and then go back into a deficit later on. So I'm going to do that. Because a lot of times our goals take if you want to lose weight to the point to where it stays off for good like because that's the thing about diets that I hate it's like you restrict you restrict you restrict and then you go back to normal and then you gain all the weight back well I don't want to do that I want to do it in a way that I'm going to be able to maintain it lifelong and I'm going to be able to eat as much food as possible so I'm doing it that way which is why my weight loss is slow which is okay because I know that when I do lose it all it's going to be gone and I'm going to be able to maintain it. And that's key. Um, I have a gap in my schedule. So I'm actually working on a client's macros right now. And I'm um, just trying to get that uh, my client started on their macro journey. So I'm doing that while I'm here. Um, I got a lot done <clears throat> with the boutique this weekend. And I don't know. I still am reevaluating some things. Um, but I am excited to get the uh, site up and going again and get the, the sale going. Um, what else was I going to say? What else did I do this weekend? Oh, I hung out with Icy. I hung out. That's it. I didn't really do anything else. I went to the gym yesterday. Um, had a really good workout. My back is killing me, though. I need to stretch. I haven't been good about stretching, so I need to do that. Um, I am going to be working all day today and um, yeah so it's gonna be not a crazy busy week but it's gonna be a good week so that's about it for now I'm just waiting on my next client I have a, like 20 more minutes before she gets here and yeah happy Memorial Day I hope everybody has enjoyed their day off I know I'm way behind on vlogs, so by the time you see this vlog Memorial Day is gonna be already gone way gone but regardless I hope you had a good one and enjoyed your day off if you um, work on Mondays normally and you have today off I hope you enjoyed it but anywho <coughs> I'll check in with you guys later good morning kin folk happy Friday I am so excited. I just have to start it off by saying, you guys, hashtag hair goals. Oh my gosh, it is back. It is officially back. And the reason why I say officially is because just a month ago, I could not wear my hair down because the top part was just too short. And now, in just a few short weeks, my hair has grown so much that now I don't look crazy when I wear my hair down. I am so excited about that. You have no, I, yeah, you do have an idea. If you've been with me for a while, you know what I went through over the last few years with my hair and I'm so excited. It is back. I am back. Your girl is back.
and I'm blonde. So now I feel all the way back, okay? But I'm excited. I've been uh, very productive this morning. Got up, did some reading and praying and things as usual. And then um, I came, I, what did I do? I fed the cats, got in the shower, washed my hair. So I've been, you guys, I've been using Monate products. I told you guys that I decided to become a market partner and I don't regret it. Um, I use, so I use their, all of their products, including styling and hairspray and everything because their products are so amazing. Like yesterday, I'll insert a picture of what my hair looked like yesterday and I put way, 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 way too much product in it. And I was really like, oh shoot, like did I destroy my hair because of the blonde? Because my curls were not popping. But I realized, and I was talking to my sponsor, who is amazing, by the way. Um, my sponsor, she was saying, yeah, you know, the products are just so concentrated. You don't need to use a lot at all. So today, I just, I did it over again, and I used practically no product. I mean, practically no product. And I can't usually do that because my hair, like, it just gets really frizzy. But, you guys, this stuff is so concentrated that you only need the teensiest, tiniest bit. And at some point, maybe I'll do a curly hair routine showing you guys how much I use because I practically, I use barely any compared to what I used to use. So, I'm so happy. Anyway, I'm sorry, enough of that. You guys know my hair was like a big deal for the last two years. So, because I got, you know, it's been through a lot. Anyway, I'm actually getting ready. I just cleaned the house. Um... And I'm about to go to Gail's house and have a work day. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. I am not very productive when I'm at home. So it's going to be, it's really helpful for me to go over there. Plus it's nice to hang out with Gail, have girl chat. And then she's working, I'll be working. It'll just be really good and productive. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, so yeah, but I'm about to go. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited, you guys. Hair goes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm sure we'll pick up lunch too at some point. I don't know what I want to eat. I'm not really that hungry, but I'm going to have to eat something. But yeah. All right. Good morning, Kim folk. Happy Saturday. I did not vlog the rest of yesterday, obviously. We're still getting the hang of it. You guys know I'm not the best at consistency, but we're working on it. Um, I'm at the salon, obviously. I'm actually um, one of my dear clients. I've known them for years and years and years. And I used to be a high school ministry leader, a youth leader, and I was this girl's uh, Bible study leader. I had a Bible study group that me and Andrea actually led. And then me and my friend David and our friend Katie used to do um, like the high school, I, would, I wouldn't call it a choir, but kind of. Um, and it was just, it was really fun and we led that. So I was like an ass assistant director for the youth choir, the high school youth choir, and she was in it as well. So she's getting married. And um, I was so honored to be asked to do her hair and makeup for her and um, her mom, little sister and friends. So that's what I'm doing today and I'm actually kind of excited. I mean it's kind of special because seeing her in high school, she went through a lot. Now she's like grown, has a baby and an amazing fiance and she's successful and she's like thriving. So it's really cool to see to you know have been in her life all these years and now I get to do her wedding hair. It's really special. So I'm actually getting set up and stuff for that now. And um, I'm glad that I have five million random makeup brushes because I don't want to use the ones that I use on myself, even though, you know, those are, those are the ones that I'm like really comfortable with, but I have like a ton. I bought like this Morphe brush set that I've never used. And then I have like a ton, like a whole thing of brushes that I've never used and some that I have used, but that I have are, that are already clean. Um, and then, yeah, all my palettes. I forgot to bring a neutral palette. I cannot believe that I forgot to bring a neutral palette. Oh my gosh. That's what happens. There's always gonna be something you'll forget, but that's okay, I can make it work. It just kind of stinks. Oh well. Anywho, it's gonna be a good day. 
Um, I'm gonna drink my Premier Protein, which I love these. This is the Cafe Latte flavor, which is probably one of my favorites. And I'm just gonna get myself together so that when they get here, I'm ready to go. But I wanna take a little bit of time just to kind of sit and think and pray and do all those things before the day really gets going. So my hair is thriving again. I put probably too much product in this morning, which is funny because it still looks really good. But um, I probably put a little bit too much product in. That stuff is so concentrated, it's crazy. So you really don't need that much, but I, it still looks good, so I'm not complaining. Not that you guys really cared, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, the day is done. It's been a long one, but a good one. It only took me four hours, which really isn't that bad. And I was so nervous, you guys, because I don't do makeup for other people usually. I mean, I've done like Gerilyn's makeup. I've done like Dory's makeup. I've done a few like friends makeup that I don't charge, but I've never actually provided that as a service here. Um, one, because this is Bloomington and it's Bloomington. And also because I just don't feel comfortable. Like I'm, I don't, I know that I'm, I feel like I'm pretty good at makeup, but I don't do makeup professionally so I don't really feel comfortable like, charging people to do their makeup um, and I don't do like crazy looks and all that like anything extravagant so these girls I told after I did um, the brides makeup I was just like I was like man this came I mean it came out so beautiful all of them I like the Lord definitely worked through me because I mean, I, I felt confident, but because I don't usually do a whole lot of makeup for other people, I was definitely really nervous. And I just asked the Lord to work through me and I feel I, I feel really proud of what I did. I mean, they all looked like absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really, really happy and very relieved. So now, so now I'm just cleaning up, getting all my stuff together. Um, and, I brought, I'm glad I brought a salad, so I'm gonna eat that on the way home, and I'm about to just drive home, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I'll be, I'm really thinking I'm probably just gonna watch movies for the rest of the day, because I'm very tired mentally, and I'm probably gonna order some food. I'm very excited about that, because I love eating out, so I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but I'm gonna uh, figure that out as well. Maybe I'll do Shake Shack. Actually, ooh, yeah, we just got a Shake Shack. And there's Smoke Shack, like if you go to Shake Shack, nothing really is that great besides the, sh the Smoke Shack burger. It has like pimento peppers on it. Like you, if you go to Shake Shack ever, you have to get that one. Like no other sandwich, like the other ones are just like, they're okay, but the Smoke Shack is flame, okay? So I think I'm gonna do that. Anyway, I'm exhausted, um, but it was fun. It was really nice to see Nicole is her name, and she looks so beautiful, and she's got a daughter now. Her daughter is so stinking adorable and was such a good little girl while she was here. Everybody was really fun. We had the whole place to ourselves. Um, so it was, it was a really good morning. It was a really good day. So I'm really, I feel honored that uh, Nancy, my Nicole's mom, asked me to do Nicole's hair. So it was, it was pretty special and I feel really, I feel good about it. I feel proud of what I put out there um, and thank God that he worked through me because I couldn't have done it without him for real. But anyway, I'm about to get out of here and I'll see you guys later.